Coach, if we can just begin with that first game, I started off offensively super hot. What was working? I just think, you know, we, um, you know, Maddie started for us, and it obviously helps the pitcher when she gets a little cushion. And I think everybody was um, ready and fired up, and they wanted to give her a little head start and take a little pressure off of her because, um, you know, to follow Lexi and Sydney from the day before, that's that's asking a lot. But to get a shutout, I don't care who you're pitching against, is a great feat in college softball. Talk about your pitching staff. You have three incredible pitchers. I feel like they do a shutout almost every game. That's amazing. I mean, and today it was uh, what nine nothing, eight to nothing, and Sydney still hasn't given up a run, which is amazing. And um, you know, on a senior day, you hope and pray that she has a good performance because there's a lot of pressure on her. And, uh, we used to do it with the whole team or the whole group of seniors, and then I learned the hard way one year, and uh, now we do individual days. So um, you know, if um, they mess up, it's only one person instead of a whole class. But she, that was one of the best performances we've had on a senior day with, I think, a one hitter and. Um, Five and two thirds inning a shutout ball. It's pretty cool. Let's talk about Sydney's legacy of being her senior. Well, I think number one, she showed her teammates what true grit is all about because she's very, very resilient. Um, she faces adversity head on and keeps coming back for more. And I mean, for for a senior leader, you can't ask for anybody better than her. And she's such a good role model for the sophomores and the freshmen. Uh, to learn, you know, you just keep going, you don't stop. And a lot of kids her age probably would have stopped. And um, she's got her undergrad degree, she's going to get her master's degree, and all in four years. So it's been an impressive career for her. Talk about Mary Schroeder. She had a big day on the offense of Andy. She, she did, and the catch over here was amazing. And, you know, when we have the, the stadium and then the, our clubhouse building, there's like this wind tunnel. And when it's going the opposite way, it just knocks everything down as soon as it hits that opening. And I think that's what happened. And um, she caught it. You know, she called for it and she caught it. But she she got the first RBI, uh, the game-winning RBI, and came through in the clutch. And I think she's just getting more comfortable as we go. And it's it's been fun to watch. Can you talk about how proud you are of your team so far? Through this I, you know, you know, one of the goals is to always um, uh, defend your home turf. And you want to send the crowd home on a good note. And you know, if you send them home on a good note, they're probably going to come back the next day. So that's key for us. We always want to win at home. And this was a good team, you know. And tomorrow's going to be a good team too, Central Florida. But Texas Tech, we now we root for them the rest of the way. Um, but to win at home is a goal every year for us. Talk about how pleased you were about the team's finish against Texas Tech. It was awesome. You know, we, we said at the beginning of the year you're going to have to win a game one to nothing or five to four or nine to eight. And today was the zero zero game late. And we hadn't done much. Their kid was very, very good. She was frustrating a lot of kids. Uh, I think one of our um, high points was we took a lot of walks. You know, uh, I think we got 11 walks on the day and finally took advantage of, you know, a ball that we could hit. Maris got the key hit, the first one, and then we piled it on after that. Chandler got a big hit. Demi Turner got a good hit. Uh, Kerrigan Fain. So it wasn't a, a one-person show by any means.